<laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know I'm a little sickly right now. I'm in the car waiting for Diana. She's at the mall right now shopping, and I don't want to do. I don't want to know anything about shopping. Like I'm so tired of it. Like I, it doesn't make me excited anymore. I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just too old now. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Um, while she's shopping in there, I'm gonna take the time to um, wish every mother uh, watching this video a happy Mother's Day. Um, excuse me. Um, guys, make sure you guys love, appreciate, and value your mom. They are the most amazing human beings in this world. Like, I, I don't know what I would do without my mother. Like, my mom is everything for me. She's been there f for me since day one. I mean, everything that I needed in life. If she could do it, she would do it without a doubt in her mind. Or she would never hesitate to give me anything if she could give it to me. Um... I've seen the way she, I've seen her struggle um, meet with me growing up, going to school and all that stuff. You know, sometimes, um, let me just give you guys some examples of what happened in uh, my life or whatever. You know, she's always struggled. We've always struggled with, with money. You know, we're from El Salvador. You know, we, there's not much opportunities there. So, uh, first of all, let me just tell you guys how grateful I am to be here in America because, man, this is. It's a dream come true. I don't care if you have to. I know it's America is not what we like. When we're living in El Salvador, let me tell you guys something. When we're living in El Salvador or, or anybody else living outside of the, of America, they think that just because you're in America, you have money, you live a good life. It's easy. It's no. There's no crime. There's no nothing. No, it's not that way. It's the complete opposite. There's crime. There's you can't you can't live. You can't survive here if you don't work unless you're lucky enough to draw welfare or whatever other people do which i don't know how it works because i don't care about that i don't i don't do that i like to work and earn my living so i don't know how people make it here in this in america without working that's you know it's none of my business but anyways it's not easy living here man you know it's nice it's beautiful it's everything but like i said you gotta pay bills you gotta do you gotta go to school if you want to be somebody in this world you gotta or unless if you're lucky you might not have to go to school but you're gonna be you have to be some type of genius to come up with a night your own business or something i don't know man it's a lot of things that come into play living here in america but it's a blessing to be here you know like i, I could never experience what i have here in america in my country in my country i would never have nothing i would never have a car i would never have even a horse probably um I would be destined to work on a field and grow crops all day or what else is there to do in El Salvador? I really don't know. I think you, there are some people that make hammocks for a living. Um, but really, literally, if you're born in El Salvador from where I'm from, like the poor place in El Salvador, you're, you're destined to be a farmer uh, or a hammock maker. I mean, that's just it. Unless you go to school, you can become somebody. But if you don't have people paying for your school like if you don't have people living here in america supporting you from here then you can't go to school so i i wasn't gonna have that opportunity so i'm very thankful to be here in america i went through all my school years i didn't care about college that's on me that's not because i couldn't i could have if i wanted to but no I, I just don't care about school like that so i'm not gonna waste my time and my money I, i'm not gonna make a poor investment because to me, college is a poor investment if you're not going to make it out of college. Or if you know you're not 100% sure if you want to go to college. That's just a definitely a no-no. So I took the other path. I might have taken the wrong one. But here I am. I have a house. I have a car. I've had beautiful cars. I've had ugly cars. I went to Florida. I went, I, you know, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you guys that you can make your life whatever you want to make it you can be a bum if you don't want to do nothing about the situation you're living or you can be maybe not rich but you can be stable if you also work your butt off for for the things that you want in life to, or the things you want to achieve like trust me i am not stable financially stable by no means like i struggle all the time but I've always had food on the table. I've always paid my bills. And I've always had 
like I said, I always go out and do other things. I'm never home. I'm always going on vacation whenever I get the chance. You know, that's for me, that's what life is all about. It's enjoying life. And you don't want to just work, work, work and save, save, save. And then guess what? What happens when you die and you didn't get to enjoy that money? That money, somebody else is going to eat it. Somebody else is going to spend it. What about you? All that time wasted and invested in so much work and you didn't even get to enjoy it because your ambition for saving up money and saving for this and that. Nah, man. For me, I don't care. Like, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to sit here and work my butt off and not even enjoy it. Just save, 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 save. No. I could never get that in my mind. I can never understand why people even do that. Um <clears throat> I might be wrong. I might be right. I mean, I I, I think this is just my opinion, though. I'm not going to sit here and waste my life working for somebody else's company or for whatever and not even enjoy it. If I'm miserable working wherever I work, this is just an example. I'm not saying that I am. But if I'm miserable working, doing something I don't want to do for a living, but I'm doing it because I have to to support my family or whatever, I'm going to make sure I go on vacation. I'm going to make sure I do different things. I'm going to make sure I enjoy this money. I'm not just going to sit here and put it aside and live miserably. No, that's just me. That's just, I just want to share that with you guys. I already got off topic, <laughs> but um, today is all about Mother's Day, man. Um, what can I say? My mom, man, she's, like I said, I'm here because of my mom. I'm in this world because of my mom. I'm in America because of my mom and people and I'm I'm everything that I am is because of my mom if I am this if I'm honest it's because of my mom she taught me how to be honest if I'm nice and outgoing and all this and that that you guys know me for that's because of my mom she's the same way I am here's the thing about me and my mom like we are fun we are nice we are outgoing we are we don't mess with nobody we don't like problems at all we are quiet <coughs> we can be shy we can be everything but one thing we don't take is disrespect because i don't like to disrespect people you got if you guys know me business wise or just in general it doesn't matter like if i know i messed up in anything like if i know i messed up i'm gonna admit it i messed up i did this and that you know I'm not going to sit here and lie to somebody. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do this and that. No, that's not me. Trust me. I'd rather, like I said before, I'm not talking about business. I'm just talking in general. I would rather lose. I, I would rather lose than have the other person lose. How do I explain this? I'd rather take a loss in any situation than seeing somebody else take a loss. You know, that's just me. I know it sucks. My wife tells me why. Why would you do that? You know, people don't care as much as you care. Uh, business wise or like I said in general that's just me or like why are you being friends with this person if you know they're not even your friends like they're just fake you know what I mean like that type of situation but me though I can't it's more it's kind of like karma like I can't pay people back the same I can't do people the same way they do me that's just me I can't like I don't know man I guess I'm just too nice um but yeah, that that's how, that's just how we, me and my mom are. We're really nice. We're nice. We respect all this and that. But the moment that you get in my face, or the moment that you try to disrespect me, or tell me that I'm lying, or try to point, or do do different things that I know that are not right, that are lies or whatever, that's when it just man, I get heated, and that's when I. That's why I don't like to talk crap. Because I feel like sometimes I can't control my anger. When I get mad, I get mad. And, like, I'm ready to fight. And that's just how I am. That's why I don't like to, I like to stay chill. I stay to the side. Every single time there's an issue, I just move and let other people work their problems out. Man, life is too beautiful just to be, like, to be miserable. Like, I, I, can't, I don't understand why people are so miserable. They can't find nothing that makes them happy. They can't. You go somewhere and they get bored. You go... You do something, you get bored. You get something else, you get bored. Like, they, they they don't see any, they don't find anything fun in this world. There's so much fun things to do in this world. Like, everybody says, Bowling Green, Kentucky is so boring. There's nothing to do here. It's full of fake people. Bruh, I don't, I don't get that either. 
Bowling Green is nice. What else do you want, man? You have a bunch of parks. We have them all. We have places to go. Like, if you're into cars, you, there's racetracks. Um, we don't have a beach, but I don't really need a beach. Um, this is the perfect place for you to grow a family. Kentucky is... I love Kentucky. Like, I could never leave Kentucky for another state. Mm -mm. I'd rather be here for the rest of my life than go somewhere else. I'm just so used to this place. I don't need to go clubbing. I don't need to go to the big cities. I don't need to do none of the other stuff to have fun. My What makes me have fun, what makes me happy, coming home from work, seeing my daughter, spending time with my daughter, my family, my wife, uh, getting together, having fun, like going to church, you know, seeing people that you like being around um i i honestly don't need nothing else other than that and i just want to share these things with you guys because i don't know man i just see i just see people miserable on facebook or on just posting so many negative things and i'm like i'm like really you let things like that get to you like man life is beautiful but yeah um let me. No, I got sidetracked it again. I'm sorry, guys. But yes, if you have your mom, love her. Tell her how much you love her. Hug her. Kiss her. That, that, don't be shy to tell your mom how much to express your love for her. I've lacked this uh, in my life quite a bit. Uh, but now that I'm getting old, now that I got older, and now I see my mom getting older, we're even closer now. Every time we see each other, we give each other hugs. We tell how much we love each other. And um, I don't want to look back. If my mom ever... You know, if she's ever gone before I'm gone or anybody, like, I don't want to think back, dang, I should have gave her a hug. I should have told her I love her. I should have treated her better. I should have taken her this place. I should have taken her. No, I'm doing it now because this is the time that I have with my mom. I never know when she, she'll be gone. Never know when I'll be gone. Just because she's older doesn't mean she's going first. You know, this is how life, it's nobody knows. It's you just never know what's going to happen with your life. So the best thing you can do, be good to people, respect people, show them how much you love them, appreciate them, value them. You know, it's not hard. Um, and live your life happy. Quit. Qu just quit being so miserable. Oh, my God, man. I can't ex express this enough. My goodness. Um, but let me have, I'll have a word for you guys, too, that are missing your mother. If your mother's gone now, just put it, think of it this way. She's in a better place now, watching over you, taking care of you. Um, I know you, you can't physically feel them close to you, but they're there. Um, like I said, I can't imagine losing my mom. That would be that would that would be what break what would break me completely, because that's that's my everything. My mom, that, that, my mom, man, she's. Man, like, I get speechless because this will happen one day. Like, none of us are going to survive. All of us got to die. But when, it, when you think about your mom, like the person that had you, the person that held you, the person that fed you, the person that was there with you 24-7, there is no bigger love, greater love than a mother's love. There's, there's just not. And when I think of that part of me missing in my life, then that breaks me completely. Like, I, I can't even imagine. Um, so I respect all you guys that are out there, um, you know, smiling, even though you guys don't have your mother anymore um, or staying positive. You know, that's something that I respect. Come on, play something. Huh? Yes, my girl. Oh, Do it. <laughs> Do the, do the, Where's do hair? A yellow shirt. Where's there you go. <laughs> do it louder, Joseph. Why does that sound like a burger? No, that's Coco. Coca Cola. Ah, Coca Cola. 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 Co